Hey y'all, it's your girl Maria, and we are back with more reactions. Joe, thank you for sponsoring this request. Joe brings us the original Carpenters, um, the Burke, uh, Burke, Bert Bacharach, and Hal Davis Medley. And we, um, this was on the Ed Sullivan show, but we did this one with um, Tori Halub, and um, she did a fantastic job with it. So now we're going to watch the original, which I got to admit, I'm excited about. I thought her voice was so incredible and every time I hear Tori singing anything that's Carpenters um it really does kind of just make you feel like Karen Carpenter reincarnated her voice into Terry Halub it's as near to perfect as you can possibly get um even if it's not 100% perfect right it's as near to perfect as you can possibly get um, she, she definitely embodies Karen Carpenter's, you know, tone and pitch and, and just, I don't know. I feel like she has a, like a special little something, that same kind of little something that Karen Carpenter had. Anyway, that being said, if you want to show love and support to the channel, the artists, I link ways for you to do that, uh, in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Also make sure you follow me on a pursued life. Um, that's my other channel. Uh, and on that channel, it's a non-reaction channel. I just talk about anything and everything, current events, DIYs, weight loss. Um, I just started it and I'd love to see you guys over there. So, you know, join. <laughs> In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. With a medley of Burt Backrack hits, the hottest young recording group in the country, The Carpenters. to you talking about like I I'm hearing her voice and I know it's her I almost feel like we should do a side-by-side -side with Tori Holub and um Karen Carpenter because they are just so similar but this is the original I mean she is the original and she was just so wonderfully talented and it's a crying shame what happened to her an absolute crying shame just think how much more we could have enjoyed her talent and her gifts. Go out the going is good. Knowing when to leave may be the smartest thing that anyone can learn. Go. I'm afraid my heart is very small. Be sure he's right, cause if he's wrong, your heartaches and tears you must pay. Keep both of your eyes on the door, never let it get out of sight. Just be prepared when the time has come, you run away. Say so when the wind starts to blow, but like a fool I don't know. such a treat to watch her sing. I haven't listened to her sing in a while until recently with with all the covers that we've been doing. 
And just hearing her singing again, you realize why she was so special. She just, I mean, she didn't have to do much. You know, she was playing her drums, but she wasn't going crazy on them. She just, she was very poised and just so soft and gentle. Um, and that was quite amazing. Truly is quite amazing still. You don't see a whole lot of that anymore. And make it easy on yourself. enjoying this so much um i'm just enjoying seeing her enjoy herself on that stage and with all the stuff that she was going through so because i didn't remember a whole lot of the circumstances behind um her eating disorder and you know kind of what the triggers were i went back and researched it and um then i was reminded that um she and her husband had issues with conceiving um at least that's what i read and somehow that's very familiar to me if i'm getting it wrong please clarify it for me because it's what i read um and then i guess the depression led her into this eating disorder and there was some marital problems as a result. I always wonder how her brother felt. You know, I mean, it's not his fault that this happened, but does he ever wish he... I mean, I didn't look that part up, but I mean, does he wish he would have known or intervened or do any of us ever know if we can or if it's appropriate? Did he try? I mean, and we just think that he didn't try? Like, I don't know. But I can't imagine that when he found out that his sister had passed, that he didn't feel some kind of, like, responsibility. Not saying that he was at fault or anything, but... I don't know. I guess I feel the same way too. If someone were like, if I were with somebody that often that close and I see that something's going on, but I don't address it and try to help that person. That's just me though. Like, and I can't imagine that he didn't do that, but I have to wonder like in that kind of scenario. And it's kind of sombering to think about if I'm being honest, but you know, you read something like that and then you kind of wonder like, what about everybody else who was around her? 
Like, did they see it? Did they try to help? Or did they just blatantly ignore it? I always wonder about these things, and I didn't see anything on there when I was reading about it. So I guess I'm just curious to know, not trying to point blame or, or anything like that on anyone, because that's, that's not helpful in any way, shape, or form. It's just a curiosity question at best. Um, and I'm certainly not going to blame anyone for something this unfortunate. But it did look like when I was reading it that it was surrounded about having marital issues because she couldn't conceive. And I don't know why she couldn't conceive. It didn't say. So I don't know if there's anything about that. Um, that was what I read when I was doing some research because I really couldn't remember. Anyway, let's keep going. I'll never fall in love again. Down the street, and I start to cry each time we meet. Here, walk on by, walk on by. Make me leave, but you don't see the tears, but you let me grieve. In private, cause each time I see you, I break down and cry. Walk on by. So if I should seem broken and blue, here, walk on by, walk on by. The sadness you gave me when you said goodbye. glad we got to see this um and it just brings up so many feelings seeing this you know i mean the carpenter was before um my time but it's i did hear it growing up in my house along with motown along with latin music um and so you know it's very sombering to think about like this person was such a talent and then taken from us far too soon. But in comparison to Tori Hilda Blake, this was a live performance and it could have been a recorded version of it, like a studio version of it for all, all I care because it sounds um, exactly like it would in a, in a studio performance to me. That's just the way I felt about it um, or feel about it. But, you know, and, and then you hear about it with Tori and she's got... Like, I think you can hear the differences a little bit more, but it's as near perfect as it gets with Tori, but still, she's the original. And so, um, I don't know. I just really enjoyed this one. And if you enjoyed it, then you know what to do. So, you know, do it. In the meantime, live your lives fabulously, and I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs>